Hey guys, welcome back to another round. Let me just change the volume real quick. This is my first recording of the morning. Um, but yeah, so welcome back. I'm Stupendous. I'll be your host for this evening, slash this morning, slash wherever you live in the world. Whatever time it is right now, that's what I'll be the host for. Anyway, so this morning I was actually trying to get a live stream together on Facebook with the Facebook uh, Game Room platform. But the I was running into issues with the game running smoothly while doing the streaming and stuff like that. I thought my laptop would be able to handle it, but apparently not. It was it was really struggling. It was really having a hard time. And it was getting to the point where the game was getting so framey or freezing up so much that I felt like I, I couldn't even play. And so I was just trying to get that figured out, trying to do all of that. And that was going to be our video for today. I was, gonna, um, I was going to take the save footage from that, the cache footage from that, and upload it to YouTube after the fact. But that uh, didn't quite work out. So, anyway, let's, um, I decided today that we'd take a look at this guy, because we actually haven't been able to take a look at any footage of Kamiho yet, so big thank you to Pixonic for helping me out with, uh, with this dashbot. Uh, and, yeah, so I've, I recorded a bunch of footage for him from before the weekend. The problem I was running into, though, is that my, my phone kept encoding the videos improperly or recording them, like, all crappy and stuff and so I didn't want to upload the footage from those because it was all choppy kind of like a I mean I'm sure you guys have noticed it with a lot of the videos lately I'm, I'm wondering if I just need to like if I just need to like reset my phone kind of thing um, but anyway yeah so this bot though <laughs> my my opinions are the same as you know from months ago from before you know when the test servers had the dash bots on them and stuff is that this thing is <laughs> there's there's all the pros and not enough cons. And with this one, like, basically, if you don't want to get hit, you don't need to be. <laughs> I mean, like, with the with a sniper, like, they can hit you and stuff like that. Even then, you can, you can force people to miss with, uh, you know, with, like, misdirection and stuff like that. But um, at the same time, like, yeah, I just... <laughs> I feel like out of all of them, this one, uh, the Camillo probably needs the, the nerf the most. I mean, it, it's tons of fun, like, as it is right now, but I really don't think it's good for the game. I, I mean, if you ran into a full squad of these and, like, your team maybe had a couple or none or something like that, like, these these would be, like, pretty game-breaking. With uh, with the other ones, like, I, I feel like, uh, as, as we talked about before, I feel like Bulgasari really doesn't need anything. And then uh, Haichi, um, I think... Uh, so I figured this guy was probably just out of his uh, Tehran, so we'll just come in and blast him, and then we'll zip back out of here. <laughs> um, but yeah, Haichi, he, he could he could use a bit of a nerf, but uh, yeah, definitely definitely Kamiho. <laughs> He's like ridiculous. It's crazy. And the best setup for it, um, I think, is is running it with orchids. It really suits the hit and run play style that um, all the pros of this bot can afford you. Oh, I totally didn't even see that guy over there. <laughs> I was just looking at the guy that was underneath the center. I was going to move in here to try to uh, to keep him from taking it, but oh well. But yeah, they really suit the hit and run play style. I've, I've run Tehran's on it. I've run Punisher's on it. And with those, you just you have to... Yeah, I feel like they're just too... You have to stay with. You have to have a line of sight for way too long. Sorry, I was trying to get my words out there. Uh, you have to maintain a line of sight for a little bit too long for that to really make the bot like super effective. Because the fact that you know it can move as fast as it does, that's that's what you're trying to use to your advantage. And when you have to constantly like maintain a line of sight on somebody moving around and you know making sure that you're not shooting into cover and stuff like that like that's it's it's an issue with that bot and the way that it has its hard points positioned like you can fire over top of some stuff because it's so tall uh with that top hard point but with the side hard point like you really can't corner shoot without really exposing yourself and so you have to um you have to make sure that you're keeping that in mind when you're playing and and running really directional weapons like that I feel like they're it just hasn't worked super well for me like I've had good rounds with the Tehrans and stuff like that I've, I've had r really good rounds with it but I feel like it's easiest to find success with the Orkins they just suit it really really well so this guy's a really good player uh, from 1000 Skulls per pretty much any of the players from 1000 Skulls are really good players they're they're all uh they're all really good I was hoping to uh to get behind cover before he could do anything to me, but looks like we're going to get taken out anyway, so I figured we'd move in here, and then maybe my teammate could uh, give this guy some love. 
Anyway, so it was it was decent decent Camijo play, which is good because you know with the time I had allotted to stream and stuff like that, I didn't account for time for like editing a video or anything like that. I wasn't going to need to if I had streamed. I'd already made a thumbnail uh, Saturday night and stuff like that. So anyway, that that's kind of where I'm at for this morning. I'm just trying to get this in before I go to work. But man, the lag though, like that's not for my device. That that right there, that's that's server lag. Like with that guy jumping around like that. It's been pretty bad. I mean, you guys all know it's it's been pretty rough the last <laughs> the last couple of updates. Hopefully, they optimize like a whole bunch of stuff pretty soon here, so that uh, so that we can all play the game a little bit easier. It's it's been pretty bad since uh, since 3.0 dropped really, but 3.1 definitely didn't didn't help anything as far as the lag goes and everything. So they they really do need to fix that stuff before <laughs> hopefully before pushing out too much more. Uh, anything else hopefully there's a big focus on that but you know do understand they do have like an art team and stuff like that and, and whatever else designing other things so if they do put out new content it doesn't mean that they're the people that would be optimizing server stuff or gameplay stuff it doesn't mean that those guys aren't doing their job they have a lot of people working for them so and no I don't work for Pixonic I get that question probably like twice a day but uh, but yeah they, they do help me out and stuff like that with with bots like like the Kamiho for example um, they help you out with stuff like that so I can put out content for you guys. And obviously it's helpful for them because it's a good marketing. But anyway, so th that's kind of where that's kind of where we're at right now. But yeah, I'd like to know uh, what setups you guys would like to see since I've got all three dashbots now. I'd like to know what setups you guys would like to see on them the most. Uh, I don't plan on running all three of them at the same time. You know, maybe, maybe I'll do stuff like that in like live streams and everything. But I think at the most I'll run two. But I'm going to try to just run like one dashbot at a time. Uh, just I don't know j just for fun and just just for variety and stuff like that because I know not everyone has them and stuff and I you guys know how I am I don't like playing the meta like I I don't run like Ancelots for example or like I I didn't like running like a Trident Fury you know a few months ago I don't like running the meta and so I, <laughs> I I'm kind of shying away from from actually doing that but anyway so let me know what you guys would like to see on them as far as weapon setups or if you want to see like a like a cameo with like an eco shield and i don't know like you know like a couple Tarons or orkins or, or something like that then yeah definitely definitely let me know i can help facilitate that i'm not sure what this is under here oh it's a lance crap <laughs> i mean luckily i've got that damage boost against his shields and stuff like that but uh but still it's gonna take a second for me to be able to chew through it so even if all my stuff is maxed, I think uh, I think with the Molots and, and the Tempest, I can't remember what it is. I think it's like if everything is maxed, it'd be like 80,000 damage per clip. And so if we're doing 200% of the shields, it'd be, um, yeah, we'd be doing, it would be, is my math messed up? It'd be 160,000, right? It'd be twice, right? Or am I, or am I thinking it wrong? Because 100% more... 200% more. I can't remember. You guys, will have to, you guys will have to drop the comment below. Anyway, we should be able to burn through his shields pretty quick because the Lancelot shields, even at max, are not like super strong. But man, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to win this game. Luckily, we've got that Lancelot moving under center for my team. But yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe we can get this Griffin over here. Oh, that's not a Griffin. That's a Rhino. Yeah, so you see the little... I don't know if you guys have noticed since the update, but the red sparks that show up on there, maybe they're red, I don't know, I'm colorblind, <laughs> but the sparks that show up on there, they, uh, those are what are indicating that you're doing the, you know, the increased damage and stuff. Oh, sweet, he's turning. I should be able to chew through him pretty fast at this range, doing 100% damage to him, like, yeah, <laughs> you see how quickly that burns through him? It's crazy. That's one thing that's cool about this long-range, mid-range setup is that it's also effective up close. Um, I still think, you know, everything <laughs> mid and long range needs a little bit of a nerf, but I don't know, since the damage buff, or since uh, Beacon Rush came out, I'm not sure if that's the case, but it looks like we're about to lose here. Oh, yep, we did lose. <laughs> anyway, so that's all I've got time for for before work, so hopefully uh, damage-wise that ended up being a good round, maybe like an 800,000 damage round, but oh, never mind, a little bit better than that. So pretty good round and the biggest thing we were looking for is the Camino gameplay so even if I got like 300,000 I feel like the, the Camino gameplay at the beginning was pretty good so anyway thanks for checking out the video guys and we'll catch you in tomorrow's video hope you have an amazing day